Kia ora. My name's Anna Coddington, and today I'm going to be reading you a story accompanied by my friends, the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra. A Lion in the Meadow by Margaret Mayhew, illustrated by Jenny Williams. The little boy said, Mother, there is a lion in the meadow. The mother said, Nonsense, little boy. The little boy said, Mother, there is a big yellow lion in the meadow. The mother said, Nonsense, little boy. The little boy said, Mother, there is a big, roaring, yellow, whiskery lion in the meadow. The mother said, Little boy, you are making up stories again. There is nothing in the meadow but grass and trees. Go into the meadow and see for yourself. The little boy said, Mother, I'm scared to go into the meadow because of the lion which is there. The mother said, Little boy, you are making up stories, so I will make up a story too. Do you see this matchbox? Take it out into the meadow and open it. In it will be a tiny dragon. The tiny dragon will grow into a big dragon. It will chase the lion away. The little boy took the matchbox and went away. The mother went on peeling the potatoes. Suddenly, the door opened! In rushed a big, roaring, yellow, whiskery lion! Hide me! It said, a dragon is after me! The lion hid in the broom cupboard. The little boy came running in. Mother, he said, that dragon grew too big. There is no lion in the meadow now. There is a dragon in the meadow. The little boy hid in the broom cupboard too. You should have left me alone, said the lion. I eat only apples. But there wasn't a real dragon, said the mother. It was just a story I made up. It turned out to be true after all, said the little boy. You should have looked in the matchbox first. That is how it is, said the lion. Some stories are true and some aren't. But, I have an idea. We will go and play in the meadow on the other side of the house. There is no dragon there. I'm glad we are friends now, said the little boy. The little boy and the big, roaring, yellow, whiskery lion went to play in the other meadow. The dragon stayed where he was, and nobody minded. So the lion in the meadow became a house lion and lived in the broom cupboard. And when the little boy had apples, stories, and a good night hug, the lion had apples, stories, and a good night hug as well. The end.